Rolling Stark! This is a, oh this is a cool tune. Oh. I yes. like them. And a, a, a dandelion Wait. seed start as well. Yep. Things start getting fast and intense over here. Things... You know, I, I, I hear a few womp womps here or there. I'm surprised mm -hmm. those those plant things don't shut up again. Like they're, they're just inviting you to use them as platforms, but oh. it's all a trap. They're yep. Venus, they're Venus platform traps. Don't tell like, me there's like an enemy in the future where that happens. It's so cool. Well, if there was, I can spoil it for you, so now you'll never know. Oh shit! Uh, okay. Also, this guy's goofy because I oh, don't yeah. collide with him half the time. Do you seem yeah. to be having some issues with him? Nope. Mm. And he, they conveniently put him right uh, in front of the spring. Okay. But yeah, we, we we just started the level already in extra life, so... Mm. That's a good start. Wait. I didn't even notice the baby dragon this time. Oh, oh, there's the counter. It's even smaller than in the original Sonic, so... Mm. Yeah. Man, almost oh. 20. More lines. Yep, don't worry, they will eventually vanish without a trace. It's kind of how this game goes. Yeah. It's good to have a bunch of uh, a mess, but yeah, this this level is where they really start getting pretty big, fatty uh, levels. I try not to spend too much time in it. I just came down here to get the shield because there's a whole water section if you want to go down that path. Okay, this is so well, just, local route. Yeah. This is not the first time this game has been pretty turrican about its design. Oh, you and your obscure Amiga references. Oh, come on! This is, this is made in Denmark. It's, it, it, it has a lot of Turrican going on. And Turrican is not obscure. Like well, 50 Amiga games. is obscure, technically. But, yeah. It's a shame they... Well, they might in the future include the character that actually shoots and stuff, which is more like those sort of games. Whoa. Yep. But can you mow the lawn with them? I don't know. I guess that's a thing that we'll have to wait for DLC for. <laughs> nice water effect. Important flowing Coming DLC. Coming up through the surface of the water and you see the... Oh yeah, that, that must have taken like... Yeah! An Ulalilia level of layers. Yeah, it's very parallax here. Whatever. But the big question is, did they get any total internal reflection sorted on that? Hmm. Now there's a question that I have no idea about. That's a question I'm not sure if it's a reference or not. Well, you see, total, so total internal reflection is the property where when um, light passes from a less dense, so from a more dense medium to a less dense medium, if the angle is shallow enough, it gets reflected back. So if you're underwater, you get this sort of thing where you can see above the surface close to you, but further away, you just get a reflection of what's going on underneath the water. Now look what you did, Joe. I'm pretty sure they couldn't do that. Physics! Also, this is fascinating and I like it. Oh, oh shit, it's the cops! It's the Popo! Yep, you, you don't see the story, but we're actually on the run from the cops. Oh, okay. I told you this gets serious. Oh man. We're escaped convicts. Did you go. Did, what happened? Did you get. Did you get White Girl wasted? I know it's another Sonic reference, but now I just can't help but think about Sonic Adventure and the um, the the coconuts guys in police cars in that. Sorry, I know it's Sonic again. No, go on. No, well, they're coconuts guys in police cars, and they go woo 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 with the sirens. Oh, okay. No, I haven't played Sonic Adventure forever. It's 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 got good music. It, it it's got. Good music and that's it. <laughs> it's got Big the Cat. <laughs> yeah, that too. It's kind of a piece of that shit. That is true. I like Big but it's Big It's got cat. E102 Gamma though. E102 Gamma's cool. Is that the one where um, uh, he commits suicide to let the bird inside him out? Yeah. Yeah, I only know about that because of the red spray of someone Same. doing a video where that's a huge thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bigger than Final Fantasy, goddammit! Oh, it, it, it's the one game that has more problems with tone than Metal Gear Solid. Hmm. And this one does get pretty close. I don't know, I, I think it's the one time they've done a serious plot in a Sonic game, and it didn't 
look completely stupid, but... Okay, so it looked 50% stupid. Maybe, yeah. That's still an amount of stupid. Yeah, but it's Sonic, you know. He, he was always way past cool. Uh, you're right. Holy shit, that Blue tree stuff is huge! Yep, Ooh. and we get to jump in it, like a what? bubble shield of sorts. What? Oh, okay. It, 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 you were it right, really this makes is huge. Jumps. Yep. And also bulbous. And blue. I think this is also the part where they realized every character basically has a double jump, so most platforms require a double jump, which makes for even more hugeness. Wait, that's actually my one problem with double jumps. Like... If every jump requires a double jump, then what is the point of a double jump? When all you have is a double jump, everything starts to look like a really tall wall. Yep. It's true. As you can see here. Some I have wisdom you're bubbles. dropping down here. <laughs> Solving problems by jumping on them. Mm -hmm. Is this something you see in um, Alice 2? That game? In uh, which one? The 3D one? Uh, I think? Uh, the second 3D one. The Madness Returns or something? Yeah, uh, where oh, every yeah. single jump uh, mandated a sink tuple jump or whatever it was. They had an absurd number of midair jumps. Quint and so amazing. everything was huge. I guess it fits with the Wonderland team, maybe? <laughs> I don't, I don't I, I think it's more that's probably uh, what just they were thinking designer about. going, we need more jumps, more jumps, more better. More, more jumps. So they had to work around that, whatever. I've played a little bit of a, a game called, I think, a thousand, and one amp, a thousand Amps or something like that. And it's a bit of a Metroidvania-ish game, but one of the main power things is that the more things you do in a room, the more jumps you get. So like, you got to put all the lights on in a room or something. Every time you put an extra light on, you get one more jump. That's kind of weird. That... It sounds like it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I only played it a little bit, because there are so many games, and actually remembering to play a game at all is a bit of an achievement these days. It is. So Man, I really like this, uh... These dandelions. Yeah. yeah, they're cool. Although I get kind of confused in this part of the level because you actually have to go left, and I'm like, what? Well, oh get no, out of here. going left. That is, uh... Plus, again, it requires high jumps. Oh. Or just hitting the dead line right, I forget, but yeah. Yeah, I seem to remember you, just like, ages ago, you showing off of it, a video from this game, or a stream or something, and, um... My one enduring Probably memory was you trying to do the same jump multiple times and not really getting anywhere with it. Yeah. And we seem to be getting into that part of the game now. Hmm. I mean, I do, I do like the... I really like the boost, though. No, it's really fun to use. Oh, yeah. That thing. So... Are you there yet? Nope. We're not even... Well, okay, I, I did make the jump. Okay. You're halfway but there, there's yeah. still... There's still plenty more jumps to come. Whoa. There better be. This is a jumping game, you know. Yep. The entire rest of the game is walking. Oh, oh no. Oh shit, no. We already know they've gone into the rapture. <laughs> they got stolen by space aliens. It's true. Okay. Yep. This is what I get for not watching the plot videos, apparently. No, 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 that's the plot of a completely different video game. Oh, alright then. <laughs> Yet, you, you kind of match the plot of this one, so there you go. Oh, it's basically shit. space aliens. But oh. yeah, I, I haven't watched the plot of this either. Ah, corkscrew and... plants. By the way, if you watch the plot of this game in any way, I pity you, and I feel you're a bad person. You're gonna love the plot uh, from this point on, or it, it, it gets... Serious. Gets no, serious. no, we're gonna ignore edgy. the plot from this point on. So that's the whole point. Oh, fine. I'm sorry. It's true. It gets so edgy, it hurts. But You're I mean, healthy. I guess we are at uh, more or less at the halfway point. So 
I guess that's their excuse to increase the, the plotness and the difficulty. Mostly the plot. Hey, oh. It's more yep. Popo again. Yep. It's the fuzz. This is gonna, it's the 5 It's gonna turn into a mini boss. Okay, the hover police car is pretty neat. I gotta say. I like it. Yeah. This fight isn't though, it's just hit the thing with the, the that constantly has oh, a shield. A, it's a guinea pig. I, That's what that is, I've, right? Those, are those ears blue and red to color code with like a police car? No, <laughs> they're not, are they? But that would be kind of funny. I think she's supposed to be a panda, but I can't be sure. Wait, a panda? Yes. Asian oh, team. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. It makes t makes a lot of sense that a panda would be a police man stroke woman stroke animal. Um, because the police go around in panda cars. Wait, wait, is that a real thing? Is that a term in the UK? Yeah, but, well, I I don't know if they still drive around, in, but like for a long time, police cars were known as panda cars because they look like pandas. Because they're black and white. Yeah. My okay. God. Okay. So yeah, we're still only halfway through the level. Let me tell you about Crown Vex and how that's the worst name for a cop car. <laughs> well, did they name it? Uh, or was the it, car it, already it, named it, like that? It's like a generic Ford platform. They sell it to taxi companies and also the cops. Oh, okay. It, nope. It's short Submarine for Crown shooting Victoria. Itself. Yep. I don't know what the submarine is doing here, but, uh, you know. It's serious uh, design uh, flaw. It's a it's pretty big too. submarine. Yep, I guess so. See, it's the future, so the police have nuclear strike capability. Oh dear. I don't know where you'd even fit a sub this big. It's, it's definitely not very conspicuous. It, it came from up water. doesn't sound like policing by consent. Questions. Mm -hmm. For tough times. I do like how they thoughtfully included lots of quarter pipes on this submarine, though. Yep. You gotta have your quarter, oh, yeah, pipes. quarter pipes. And uh, water level that actually shifts is a nice touch. Mm. Yeah, it cool. makes it more dynamic. Sorry, I'm in blast process. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I'm reminded. Uh, it's, well, it, yeah, it's another Sonic reference, but it's, it's, it's a game that fine. doesn't have Sonic in it. it. It's Knuckles Chaotix, and there's a level with shifting water. Well, shifting. It's not actually a water level, there's no water in it, but like. Bit, Is that like, like with switches and stuff that switch the water level? It's a. Well, no, but it's like a marina style level, and like oh, okay. the ships bob up and down, so you have to jump between bobbing bits of ship. Whoa. But there's no actual water in the level. No, oh, it's just uh, boats. Yeah, it, it's Knuckles Chaotix <laughs> being. Very strange as as Knuckles Chaotix is wont to do. I kind of, you know, I kind of want to revisit Knuckles Chaotix at some point because it seems it really so weird, bizarre. but it like I, I think it might work. Yeah, I think you have to give them, you know, for the crazy ideas that it came out with. I think you have to give it some credit. It was like also the crazy this, console oh. it came out in. Yeah, that's true. Fucking 32x. Just piling up the little blobs on top of the Mega Drive. The mm. really crazy thing is like... Sega going, okay, we're gonna make a 32-bit thing. But then... Those were two separate entities... Saying the exact same thing, but not talking mm. to each other. Oh, you mean like Sega of Japan and Sega America and the whole yeah, mess that became? Like, yeah, like, I don't remember which what, which did which, but I do know that uh, the only reason they had two add-ons for the Mega Drive is that, well, there was no communication. And yeah, I think like uh, Sega of Japan was doing the whole Saturn thing and they were kind of taking their sweet time so Sega of America could just kind of bide it for time, I guess. The 32X was basically a midway point between the Genesis and Saturn. I think it was uh, originally called um, Sega Jupiter? Project? No, th there was another thing originally which was the Neptune, which was a standalone 32X. Uh oh. But I don't think they ever put that out because... No, no, know, they didn't. This. It was basically 
the Saturn was already there, and yeah. I guess they just took a long time to transition from the Genesis or Mega Drive. Because the SNES was... Uh, uh, wait, not the SNES. I don't know, really. Europe was always a lot more Sega, so... Yep. I'm not familiar with the other half of the picture. Anyways, time for things to start getting serious. Oh no, no. I, I, I can tell it's serious because the music stopped. Yep. Also, it, it's dark. It's dark and it's raining. Birdie. Yep. Oh no. And there's oh. a big robot. Oh no, no I left robot. a tiny bit of plot in. The horror. Wait, wait, I, I told you I wasn't going to watch the plot. Well, it's a plot, oh, hey, so I left it, it in. A snake slug again. That's Horned a Komodo Viper? dragon, clearly. Might be a horn viper. I think... I think that's actually a common house mouse. Oh, right, yes, I see that. So, I'm guessing he's supposed to be, like... Uh, Mega Man? I mean, those teeth are clearly in sizes. He's a space alien second in command. Oh, right, I mean, aliens. I, I think it's supposed to be aliens. I mean, I don't know so why aliens look like human animals. Basically but, you know. vile. Yeah, basically. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe. And all they also get annoying troopers and stuff. Oh, I like these uh, robot suits. They remind me of uh, Metal Slug, mostly in how yeah. Metal Slug made it like a parody of that idea in anime. This kind of bosses feels very Metal Slug, just like a thing with a whole lot of missiles and stuff flying around. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. It's almost like and a willing suddenly, tribute. Suddenly oh, oh, it's the worst character. Jelly Cube Rabbit. Dog. At least he has That's a shield. A I said rabbit. Also, infinite health, which uh, helps. Wait, wait, you're telling me that's not a dog? I mean, look at it. No, it's a dog. It's a dog. It's a... Okay, okay. I, I just got it wrong again. I said rabbit again. Because it's... Oh, I, I thought that was like a running gag. No, the running gag is nobody can tell it's a dog. Okay, okay. Even the actual players. Except me, clearly. Yep. I mean, I mean... We're being held by a dog fighting uh, a common metal mouse. Metal slug. Born viper? Oh, a oh, metal slug, yeah. We're, we're fighting a metal slug. Yeah, nice. clearly. Wait. And now we're done. Where did, bi where did, where did my motorcycle cap come from? Uh, she she's pretending to help. The other plotline. 